top of the morning, and welcome back to Pro Cycling Matter 2020 for yet another episode of YouTube Pro Cycling, therefore YTC, because that makes sense. Episode number 18, if I am not mistaken, as we will uh, continue the NCs started last Friday over on Joe's channel. If you haven't seen it, then do go ahead and check them out. Um, I do not know the results right now. Uh, I, I, I might have spoiled myself with one. Um, but that's it. Uh, I just know he, he won one race in Italy. But that's all I will know and that's all I want to know as today we have none other than 14 races for those national championships. I'll take you through the races we will have starting with the national championships of France, Belgium, Netherlands, Eritrea, Poland, Serbia and China. That's for the time trials, we'll have obviously the same road races. Um, now my objective is quite simple. I want to be a national champion of China with Tao Zhao. And that's it. Bomb the others. All right, we're in France for the first NCs of the day. Starting with Charles Planet here in Lambesque. Uh, we are in Brittany for those 31.1 km time trial with a heel towards the end, which could suit someone like Julien Lafilippe, most likely is here. He is indeed. Um, our leader is Benjamin Thomas. We'll see what we can do as well with the likes of Clément Champoussin. Uh, however, the uh, minus two that he seems to have is not ideal. Benjamin has a better day. And Benoit, yeah, 61 time trial is going to be extremely short. Okay, so Zanza have killed both Benjamin, uh, sorry, no, both uh, Charles and Benoit in the final hill. Okay. So I've gone lower with Clément Champoussin. And maybe I'll try to go uh, at a high rhythm in the uh, final climb, I don't know. Rosetto currently leading. Uh, yeah, Chris Nufra formulated down. Right, so I've now gone 79 with Clément. Uh, the first half of the time trial is rubbish from him. Uh, is that... wait. Oh, that's Brian. I got very scared for a second. Wait, now Clément's gonna try to sprint, basically, in this climb. We'll see if the tactic works. Uh, I'm leaning towards no, but you never know. Rosetto still leading as Clément Champoussin uh, gets close to the final line. He's going to overtake Brian Alaphilippe across the line for Clément. Third place. It's not too bad. We've attempted the exact same tactic with Benjamin Thomas. Uh, it's going to prove to be a bit tougher with him, obviously, because he doesn't have 78 in Mountain, but 67 today. Uh, Rémi Cavagna is 41 seconds in the lead today in Lambesque. Pierre Latour is uh, nearly co-op with Benjamin Thomas. None of those information... Uh, make me happy, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, but Julien most likely will be, uh, will be winning today in Lambesque and make it a 1-2 for De Coninck, unless one of the uh, riders still within contention. Fight for anything, we'll see first with Aurélien Parépentre, the rider of AG2R Citroën, um, with a decent kit, oddly enough. Ah, I've killed Benjamin. Across the line for Mr. Thomas, ninth place, 1-12 behind. Pierre Latour with a decent time trial, you know. Pierre Latour, second place. And across the line for Julien Philippe, he is struggling towards the end. I don't think he's going to make it. I think Cavagna is going to win it. Nope. Forget what I said. Philippe takes the win ahead of Rémi Cavagna and Pierre Latour to make it a 1-2 for the Canon Quick Step. Julien Philippe is the new Time Trial French Champion. Uh, to say that I have hope would be one of the fattest lies I've told in 2021. Actually, could it be the first? It could be the first lie I've told in 2021. Who knows? It's been like eight days. And I probably, like, nah, no, let's be honest. I probably lied once to, like, one of my teachers or anything. But apart from that, Stan Neuville, 17 time trial today, 77 in flats, which is decent. Um, is it decent enough to beat someone like Remco Venable, Wout Van Aert, Thomas Drent, or anyone else above us? No. Final 700 meters for Stan Neuville. Uh, he is out of energy right now. We've timed it perfectly. Like, it's not a bad work. I've done 214 behind Nathan Van Hoydonk. Are you good? Ah, actually, that, that, that's understandable. Where's Van, uh, Brent Van Meur, Lotto Soudal? Where are them lot? Blind. Blind is what I, what I currently am. Oh yeah, David Tamon Lotto, that's why. Find one more. Oh, he's got 76. Ah, that makes sense. Uh, I mean, we're what? We're 18th? If I can manage a top 20, that'd be good, but let's be honest, we will not. Well, Van Aert is going to take first place ahead of Thomas de Rent here in uh, a very random town in, in Belgium. Uh, that appears to be somewhat flat, so that doesn't really narrow it down, if I'm going to be honest. One kilometer for uh, Remco Venepoel, he was 14 seconds down at the previous intermediate. Did he make the comeback on Wout van Aert? He did not, and uh, it is the uh, failed signing of YTC that becomes Belgian champion. 
If only someone hadn't fuck up his transfer. Ah, that would have been fun. I mean, it would have been way too easy for us, but still, that would have been fun. That's two L's in two, uh, in two TTs for me. Right, next up, 59 time trial for David Decker. Yeah, fucking go on. Um, I've lost 10 minutes with David Decker. Stonks. I've also lost five minutes of my life doing this. So time to one one with two and a half minutes on Grovek. Uh-huh. Nice. Good. 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 I mean, that's a stinker of an epic Biniam. Jesus Christ, he's even got 69 mountain. What? I... His planning is ruined. And across the line for Biniam, it's going to be... I mean, an... I think I'm going to be last there. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to be last. Stupendous. Merawikodus wins the national championships of Eritrea and Sam Trail. Hopefully the road race uh, will be easier for me because a minus five, there was nothing I could have worked with. Staying in odd countries when I'm moving to Poland uh, with Rafa Maka trying to defend his title from Miral Kwiatkowski, Pavel Radek, Kadel Radek, no, Kamil Radek, there we go, and Pavel Bernas, Mashi Bonar, and Lukas Wisniewski. It's going to be much tougher this year. Uh, I'm 0 for 4 right now, I think. The odds of me going 0 for 5 are somewhat high. All right, decent day for Rafa, I'm guessing plus 1, plus 2 potentially for the Polish rider. I don't know. Coming out of a, of a very satisfying Giro d'Italia. And also a win on the Tour de Suisse. Um, no, sorry. No, podium finish on the Tour de Suisse. Uh, and a stage win. 74. Uh, we'll go with him. 72 in temperature today. First one. All right. It's, it's not bad. First intermediate for Rafa Maika. First place. First place ahead of uh, Simon Rekita from LPC, which is... Oh, it's Leopard. Leopard. Okay. He's also leading at the second intermediate. We'll see uh, what happens when uh, the uh, well favorites for this race come uh, next to the um, intermediate. Vishnovsky, 11 seconds in. We'll just take a look at Mashi Bodnar before uh, resuming our time trial. First place for Mashi Bodnar. Second intermediate, Rafa Maika in the lead. Once again, ahead of Shaman Rikita. Uh, Mihal Kutkowski, though, sad to have missed on the title last season. Trying all he can to, uh, to get it this year as he's 34 seconds ahead of Kamil Hadek and 47 seconds quicker than Rafa Maika in Zobenice. Maka takes uh, a Philippe Masiuk, and we're going to take the lead in... Uh... Oh, wait, no, I thought that was intimidated. My bad. My bad, my bad. I got confused there. Uh, but we've got five kilometers left. We're going to try and gauge the, uh, the, the finish. I mean, to, to perfection, let's be honest. We'll see how that goes. There's a downhill here. All right, come on, Rafa. Come on, Rafa. I've won it with you last year. At least do well this year. Prove that it wasn't like a fluke. Prove that you're a decent time trialist. Come on, son. 1k to go for Rafa Maika, the former rider from Boransgrohe, the rider with the most points in um, the Polka jersey on the Tour de France in the 20th century, 21st century. First place, 140 ahead of Shaman Rekita. We've, we, we've increased our gap from 15 seconds to 1 minute 40. We will see how that translates as Lukasz Wisniewski is the next man to cross the line, he was quite far down, uh, I believe, in the recent intermediates. Across the line for Vishnovsky. Two minutes and two seconds behind. Mashi Bonnar was ahead of us. And every single time, he's now a minute behind Rafa Maka. Oh god, it's the same thing as last year. It's the same thing as last year. But last year there was a hill, which was where I benefited. Kamil Hadek across the line. 53 seconds. Can Michal Kutkowski challenge for first place? He sadly can, 26 seconds quicker than Rafa Maika. We did come back by nearly two minutes on, uh, on Michal. And despite of it taking Hadek, Bodnar, and some... Uh, actually, no, just Hadek and Bodnar. We were just a bit short to overtake Michal Kaskowski, the new Polish champion of time trial. We're in Serbia for the national championships of Serbia. You got it. Yeah, big brain. Uh, if, if you guessed Serbia, you're smart. Um, now, if I lose this... I might be the worst PCM player ever seen, because 61 time trial for Kalaba, 63 for Veliko Stojnic, 65 for Dusan Rajovic, 72 for Predrag Petrovic. Now we're all there. <laughs> we're all on the same fucking line. It's incredible, we're 99 with Predrag. Alright, can we overtake any of them lot? Everyone is sprinting towards the line like it's a mass sprint, lads, if it's a time trial. Petrovic is going to be the first to finish, and the, the last to start. Incredible. Big up, gets in there, let's go. Alright, go a title, we move. There's a lot more riders from China than I believed, yeah. Wow. 
I expect you to have like 50, 60 riders, not 100. Okay, interesting. Um, I do not know anything about these lots. The only uh, Chinese rider I know, I think it's Liu. No, definitely not. Who's the, who's the climber? Uh, I know that there's like one climber. I forgot about, oh, I mean, I know Chen Ying Ji, but I don't think he's there, sadly. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, Tao might be the favorite today. I, I would not know. And Tao Zhao is on his way. Uh, my, uh, most likely minus one for him today. However, uh, yeah, the best notes after him is 64 time trial. So I should be safe. And Tao has overtaken uh, Lee Junbai. I mean, it's, it's an odd time trial because the intermediate is placed after 9 kilometers and it's a 50k time trial. I'm going to run out of energy just before the end, uh, but it should not be uh, too much of an issue for Tao. Most likely taking first place here in Qin Dianzhen. Indeed, he does 140 ahead of Yan Hongzhu and Jia Xinglu as Li Junbai finishes in sixth position. We've got two national titles in Tam Chol. Uh I was potentially hoping for, f for three, uh, but I guess, I guess two will do. And we're going to start our campaign uh, in the road race with the national championships of Poland. Rafal, uh, 95 fitness, could hope potentially for like a plus one, plus two, that would be good. Plus one for Rafal, um, that's basically what I was expecting. Uh, I'm very scared of Kurt Koske. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to try an attack right now with Rafal, uh, because the breakaway is has a decent gap on us. Um... And they've got eight riders. It's not like a solo or like a two-man breakaway. It's an actual eight-man group. And, um, I mean, they can, like, relay each other. I mean, they're not going to, like, tire themselves or anything. There's been a crash, actually, in the breakaway uh, involving Galica, uh, Big Big L. I, I don't know you lot, but sorry, sorry, mate. Mashi but not. please stop chasing me down. Right, like, come on. No, they just want to chase me down. And I'm going to guess I'm going to get countered by Kutkowski now. Like, I, I would basically expect it to happen. Two minutes for the breakaway. Uh, yeah, let's, let's be real. I'm finished. Kutkowski's gone. Uh, I tried to follow him, but I just didn't have the legs, I guess. Adran Kurek and Philippe Masiuk will fight for the win uh, with potentially a, a late comeback by Michal Kutkowski. And Adrian Kurek drops Philippe Masiuk for a first time. 1.3k to go. Will we see a national champion for Majov say, come on. Matsuk trying to come back, the rider from Leopard. He's going to attempt a sprint, but it won't be enough. Adrian Kurek is the new champion of Poland ahead of Filip Matsuk and Michal Kutkowski coming up in third position. He was strong, much stronger than I was. Let's be realistic about it. Kamil Malecki is going to grab fourth place. Okay, wow. Uh, Rafael is going to be like, outside of the top 20. It's fine. All right, we're going to try and win my home championships with Benoît Cosneufroy. It's going to be a battle, right? Clément doesn't have the greatest of days as well to, uh, to like, help him, I guess. All right, I need to defeat, what, like, Madouas, Godu, Alaphilippe, Barguil, Bardet, Martin, Galopin. Yeah, big names, innit? All right, there's 32k left. Uh, there's been a first attack by Julien Alaphilippe, uh, which was promptly, uh, promptly cancelled by Dorian Godon. I'm starting to struggle with Benoît Cosneufroy and Clément Champoussin. Uh, like, really struggle. And that's really not ideal. Uh, I just don't think I've got the legs to, uh, to perform well today. Which, uh, let's be honest, sucks. Brian Coquart is still here. Uh, I mean, as soon as, like, I'm, I'm expecting, I don't know, like, Guillaume Martin, Valentin Malouas, Demlot to attack. Or, I mean, Julien as well. When they'll do so, I do not think I'm going to be able to, like, follow whatsoever. So I'm trying to recover energy as much as I can here in this, like, somewhat flat portion. Like, this falls flat, this downhill falls flat. Um, and the aim is simple. Take the lead of the peloton. Face with Clément Champoussin. And try to cover the attacks now. And as I suspected, attack by David Godu. Galopin is in the well. Guillaume Martin, Alaphilippe, Bardet, Warren Barguil. Champoussin, for now, follows. We'll try and get Cosneufroy to do the same if uh, and when, mainly, Clément will be struggling a bit more. Although I have to say this was a staggering performance by Clément Champoussin here. Yeah? What a job. What a job by Clément Champoussin today. Stupendous. Absolutely stupendous. Barguil goes again. This time, uh, I don't think Clément will be able to hold on for much longer. We're going to try and follow the attack of Julien Lafilippe. Come on, Benoît. 
you've won Liege Baston Liege, you can definitely win the French Championships. 13k to go. Left hander for the final lap of this national championship here in Vesoul. Barguil goes again. Uh, Alright, let's go. Bardet, Barguil à la Philippe. Galopin, Cosnefroy, Madouas. It's the same gap and the same group as uh, well, the first 20 kilometers. And we should be able to follow. For now, we are still in the wheel of Barguil. Barguil counter attacks though. Um, he counterattacks well, actually. Okay, he stopped counterattacking. Thank you very much. Let's recover energy. Let's go. Come on. All right, let's not do anything. Chill the fuck out as much as we can. There's going to be one more hill, and then it's downhill till the end. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Let's try to take, the, to take lead, because Julien is going to go. Uh, I'm going to attempt to follow Valentin Madouas, but the odds of me doing so are quite slim. Come on, make it. Ooh, we, made, we did make the cut, though. We did make the cut, which is great, which is not something I expected. 5k to go. We're going to use the gel. We're going to take the wheel of our flip. Can, uh, is there a sprinter going back? Like, is, okay, so Kokar is not here, thank God. I'm one of the best sprinters here. Julien tying his shoes as Barguil tried a little attack. No, 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 I swear to God. I'm following him. I'm following Julien. No. No. I literally... I was following Julien, fam. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, I'm sorry about it. I'm actually triggered, though. I was literally following Julien, and then the man, like, decided to, I don't know, swerve, and Benoît Cosnefroy was bamboozled. Third place for Benoît. For fuck's sake. I'm genuinely angry. Like, I did everything right. I went to the wheel of Julien, and then, I don't know, the game was like, yeah, how about no? Third place. We're in Belgium. Uh, Standard for the plus two. Interesting. We'll see how that goes, but I'll most likely lose to work on There's been a crash in the peloton uh, involving Amori Capio, but also some... Oh, wow. Arkia really in the sauce there. Losing Nob, Capio, and De Klerk on the same crash. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I saw Gilbert being dropped. Van Andert, Quinton Hermans, Jente Bermans, Dries de Venance. Philippe Gilbert is in the drop, Van Van Meur. Wout Van Aert! Wout Van Aert is not in the main peloton! As Van der Bosch has crashed, Wout Van Aert is not in the leading peloton with 36 kilometers uh, remaining Sorry, in those Belgian championships. And Wout Van Aert is well and truly at the... Well, tail end of um, of this race, I don't think he will be able to come back. Therefore, we will have uh, a, just a good chance with Stan de Wulf. We just need to be careful not to get dropped by Jasper Stoven, who just attacks for EF here. Emme de Rennes trying to follow with Yves Lampart. The Lotto Sudal team, or David Amon Lotto now for um, Philippe Gilbert. Is he back? He's not. He's not. Who's that? Um, Jasper de Boost? I'm gonna guess Jasper de Boost for them. But the main favorite now is. Jasper Philipson from Alpecin Phoenix. He's going to be led out by Tim Merlier. That's a, that's a really good train. Both of them can actually be champion. Tim Merlier, former Belgian champion, if I recall correctly as well. 12 kilometers left. We're going to be in a downhill portion now towards the final climb in Bench. Uh, I'm expecting Steuven or Kukela to try one more time. I'm expecting also someone maybe like Van Avermaet or Oliver Nazen to attempt something that would be very... I mean, that would be like them. Like them. And there goes Remco Venepoel. Remco Evenepoel. Ah, I didn't see that. I did not expect Remco Evenepoel to attack. We're going to follow Jasper Stoyven. I didn't expect Remco to be the, the one making a move. And he stopped. And Tim Merlier is now attacking. Interesting. We're nearing the final 5k. There they are, just under that red banner. All right. Gaba Tyson is going to be the sprinter for David Damon Lotto, led by, um, by Vermeersch. We're going to try and take the lead for now. Because Vermeersch is done. Uh, is that actual Thomas de Rent? Is he sprinting or not? He's not. Jasper de Boost is. Let's take the wheel of Jasper de Boost if I can. There we go. Perfect. We're in the wheel of Jasper de Boost. 2.4k. Come on, Stan. Come on. Come on, son. De Boost is dead. Let's, let's go. Stan de Wolf goes. 1.2k. There should be quite a, like one or two corners. 
Come on, hold on, hold on the stand. Ah, no, 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 Jasper Philipsen. Jasper Philipsen is too quick. Jasper Philipsen was too quick. Yet again, it's a second place. It's yet another podium for me. It's still not a win, though. It's still not a win. All right, we're most likely going to take another L today in these Dutch championships. It is a parkour that does not suit David Decker at all. I just wanted the flat and, like, cobble one. Not a hilly one. That just really does not please me at all. Sure, I've got 71 in hills today. I mean, regarding the physiognomy of the race, everything can go my way. But seeing how the episode went today, I feel like it's not going to go my way. The rhythm has increased quite a lot. Uh, and actually, there's an attack. Bauke Mollema, Mathieu van der Poel, Sebastian Langevelt, Maurits Lametzink, Nils Ekhoff. We're trying to be there with, uh, with David Jaka. I got slightly uh, delayed because of a crash that happened behind us. There's been a lot of crashes, which is why you're not seeing a lot of riders from Lotto Yombo. Uh, sorry, from, um, from Yombo Visma, sorry. As their entire team has crashed. Like, everyone in their team crashed. So, yeah. 14k to go. Um, I'm trying, trying to get back to Van der Poel, uh, Mollema and Maurice Lametink. Things aren't really easy for now, but David can try to do something. We'll take the will of Van der Poel uh, just to make sure that we're not going to get dropped um, purely because someone decided to pace and Jekka was like, yeah, how about no? I mean, if Van der Poel like, can drag me until the finish, that's great. I'm the best sprinter in the group, for sure. And I know the finish. That should help me. Maurice Lametink is strong. Maurice Lametink is quite stronger. That's like his fourth attack, I think, in this in this race. Uh, but Mathieu follows, so does Bauke Mollema. We're going to have this final hill. This is the last time we're going to see a difficulty in this race. And we're going to follow Bauke Mollema, who makes the first move. All right. David, I need you to hold on in the wheel of, of Bauke Mollema for now. Perfect. I'm even going to be ahead of Van Der Poel, which is great. And I can sprint now, because it should be downhill and corners. And technically, no one can overtake me here. David Decker towards potentially the first ever title of his career. It's going to be close. Van der Poel's going to try and come back, but he won't. David Decker wins the Dutch road race and becomes the Dutch national champion. All right. It's better. Better. Let's go. I mean, I came close in Poland. Actually, no, I did not in Poland. I came very close in Belgium. Uh, I came close in France. In, in France? Yeah, in France. I'm just glad I've managed to get a title here. Decker ahead of Van der Poel, Mollema, and Lametink. It's a minus two for Tao's hour today. Uh, I have no idea how this race will unfold. Uh, because there's hills, sure. But then, like, the final 20 kilometers are basically flat. Uh, I don't know if the breakaway will be able to go. Because everyone has, like, all of their riders except me and Yunnan. I'm, I'm very confused there. This hasn't been the most um, fun of races I've had on PCM. I'm not going to lie to you. Basically, all right, there's nothing. Nothing. It's the first time the peloton actually starts to pace uh, in, in this race. I was the only one during the chase uh, on the breakaway. And I, I did come back on everyone because they literally have 56 in hills and mountain. So it wasn't that much of, a, of an issue coming back. There's one rider I'm uh, scared about. Is this man right there, Jiang Xiang Lu, for uh, Heng Chang Cycling? He is like I think the only guy in China with a stats above 70, uh, and that stat being hills. Now because I have a minus two, right? I just want to make sure that I can win. I should be able to do so. If I don't win, this is probably the fattest L I've taken in my entire career. And this is where I'm going to make my move. This is where I'm going to make the move in this little hill right there. As soon as uh, we'll be uh, in about like 15, 14 degree, um, gradient, I don't know. 13.8, 14, 15, 16, 18, 18 max. Liu follows. Chen tries to follow as well. Good to see her. Oh, no, he's, he's called Oak in, in English, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was going to make a like, Professor Chen joke, um, but in it's like the, the first um, uh, Pokemon professor you meet in like the first gen, because in France he's called Professor Chen. But I believe in England he's called Professor Oak. Right, Liu trying to come back uh, on me uh, after this uh, Pokemon interlude. Can he do so? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. In the words of Duchevelli, Liu, Z, no, wait, sorry. Wait, no. Liu and Li trying to come back as well. Uh, then a group of three with Yang, uh, Qi, and Shen. 
All right, you made the comeback on me. I'm I'm the best printer, yeah? Yeah, I don't need to base inside. Oh, God. Wait, hold up. Did we just enter the fucking Velodrome of Roubaix? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This... <laughs> There's the fucking Velodrome of Roubaix in China. Oh, God. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, boy. This is phenomenal, right? Incredible. I mean, let's be honest. I'm the best printer. I'm I'm gonna launch my sprint now. Bish bash bosh. None of them lot can follow. Lee could potentially try to make a late comeback. Uh, because I'm gonna struggle with energy towards the end, but it'd be fun. Oh, the line is before. Oh, I see. So it really is a Chinese version of it. Like the line is not the white one. It's it's there. It's blue. Oh, I see. Good. Well, we take a win. Minus two for game I. It's actually not too bad compared to like. He's full on the time trial. Can I attack? Please. Get in there, son. Uh, I'm going to give Xavier because I'm trying to follow Nathaniel Test Fashion as well. Maxim Debezai, Kudus, and Ayub do not care. Lovely. So, what is the current status of this, of this race? Two men at the front Girmay, Tsef, and Test Fashion. Then Ayub. And then the peloton with Mehawi Kudus, Gabriel Xavier, and Maxim Debezai. Right, now. Something is. Quite weird. Gabriel Xavier has, a, has tried to attack a couple of times. Um, but the man who's done nothing right now is Mirhawi Kudus. Because he's been letting Maxim Debesai pace for 50 kilometers now. Near, near 50 kilometers. Every time there's a breakaway, Debesai is the one chasing it. Kudus has not done fuck all in this race. Like, genuinely fuck all. And I'm quite surprised by it. 80 kilometers left. We now have Kudus, Ayob, and Tesfatsion chasing Biniam Germay. Uh, and then Debesai, Gebrek Xavier. Emmanuel Gebrek Xavier is now working uh, with Debesai. Or at least Debesai is trying to follow Gebrek Xavier. I, don't, I haven't figured out the uh, hierarchy yet. But this is one of the weirdest races I've done. Because there's literally no tactical aspect whatsoever. It's just everyone's attacking. But for the last five laps, I guess. Uh, I was with Ayob and, uh, and Tesfatsion. As soon as we entered like this portion, Tesfatsion would attack. Because none of them would relay me. Tesfatsion would attack. So Ayob would be the one chasing him. They would come back. Well, Ayob and I would come back on Tesfatsion. Then stop pacing. At the same time, Kudus would start pacing in the peloton. But then he would stop and lose time again. But Kudus is now back. With me, will he relay? Apparently he does. I'm so confused. So Germay, uh, no, no, I'm Germay, hold up. Kudus and I have been like pacing 50. The gap was three minutes with the go behind, with Debesai. And uh, them lot were not relaying Debesai, okay? So Debesai attacked, but none of them decided to follow. I'm Emmanuel Gebrek Xavier, what are you doing? Because them lot, okay, sure, Ayo and Tesfatsion, I can understand, like they're dead. Or, oh, I mean, they're not as good as a Debesai or a Gabriel Xavier. Emmanuel, I do not understand what you are currently doing. Kudus has attacked. We're going to try and uh, answer with Germay, and we have done so very well. Okay, good. That was the, like, weakest attack I have seen quite recently. There he goes again. Germay, once again, trying to follow, and we're going to bridge him again. Okay. We'll follow him now. Perfect. Gap with uh, Debezai, over a minute and a half. He's now uh, finished. I feel like there's an attack again by Kudus. There is indeed. There is indeed in uh, what seems to be the penultimate lap, technically. But we're still there. We're, we're fighting. We're also going to lap uh, Ayob, Gebrek, Xavier, and Tesfatsion. So they can actually try to partake in the final sprint, but with a, like, a lap down. So I guess following Kudus doesn't mean that I can actually follow him. Once again, PCM does not understand the, 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 the concept of following someone. Because I was following him. Final 5k. Merhawi Kudus against Biniam Girmay for the title of Eritrean champion. I'm the best prince. I'm the best guy in Hill. I'm the best everywhere. However, I'm probably the worst when it comes to race the condition. We're going to try and take the lead. So that I can... Um, well, either surprise Kudus or try to, like, um, I just have the, the edge on him. Because there's a roundabout, I believe, at the end. 1.6k Kudus, well and truly in the wheel of Biniam Germay. We've used our gel. 1k, we're going to go now. We're going to go now. We're the best sprinter. Can Mehawi Kudus do anything to challenge Biniam Germay? Yes, he can. 
Avalanche way too early. Okay, wow. Well then. Goodbye, Eritrean title. It's been, it's been, been fun. Till next year. Alright, we should end up uh, with a win here in Serbia. Same profile as the one, um, or same parkour, I guess. Uh, just longer as the um, time trial. Uh, I mean, if I don't win, it's a, it's a fat L. I wish I could have won in Eritrea, I really did. Um, which I played badly, I think. Overconfidence, mainly. We'll see what happens here with Petrovic. I'll try to attack. They most likely won't be able to follow for long. I'm just making sure because I've got 62 in Baruda today. And like 64 in Endurance or Stamina. It's going to be a bit of a tough day at the office for Petr Petrovic. And we're back with the breakaway. Oh, we're back by the peloton, I guess. Stojnic, Rajovic. And uh, Kalaba once again with Petrovic. Only difference. Uh, I'm currently 13 minutes or 13 minutes ahead of them. If I was to describe this race, uh, I could use many adjectives. The one I won't use would be challenging. Because <laughs> we're one hour and 10 minutes ahead of them lot. Uh, for the record, we did lap them again. Uh, I'm just going to make sure that I can sprint. You never know. They might like pull a late comeback. I mean, like they, they need to do 40 kilometers in the space of one kilometer for me. Uh, but you know, you never know, you never know. Left-hander for Pedrag Petrovic, and it should be settled. He wins the Serbian Championships. What a, what a race from him. <laughs> truly, truly tactical masterclass. <laughs> There's 40 kilometers left for them lot. Oh, can they finish the race? Oh, actually, that's a, uh, they should be able to. Yeah, they, they will be able to. Rajovic will come in second place more than an hour and 20 minutes after that, then Stoinch. How did you get dropped? Kaloba, how did you get... The rhythm did not increase at all. Alright, easy dub for Petrovic. And uh, that should wrap up all our NCs today. Indeed it does, indeed it does. Um, I mean, Poland, I don't think I could have done any better. I mean, I could have finished like, I don't know, 15th. But like, who cares? Uh, biggest disappointment, France. Definitely had the legs to beat Ala Philippe. The game uh, kind of like fucked me. Belgium, uh, I'm happy with second. I think, uh, was it Melia? No, Philipson. Philipson was just too quick. Netherlands, I'm quite proud of me. China, easy dub. Eritrea, uh, biggest L I've taken uh, in recent seasons here. Yeah. I just was overconfident. Thought I could just drop me how he could have. I couldn't, clearly. And Serbia, uh, very challenging win. Uh, the opposition was pretty strong, and uh, I mean, I did well to like uh, not die. Now, this is going to wrap up the episode. The next one will be on Benji's channel this Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, Wednesday. He will have uh, his home tour, the Tour de Wallonie. I mean, that's, I'm saying that because it's in Belgium, yeah. Then we'll have Mr. Tim Soski heading to Burgos with uh, the Vuelta a Burgos. You, you got it, yeah. I, I, I can see you thinking that it was the Volta Borgos, and you're smart. He'll also have the Classic San Sebastian, and then uh, we will have a full episode for my home tour, uh, the Tour de la Francia, uh, and then the transfers, which will not be done by me. Trust me, I'm, I'm staying away as much as possible. Then Canadian Classics in Pologne for Benji with the transfers, or actually transfers, I'd actually, wait, let me take a look. All right, so Benji will have the transfers. Uh, then Joe will have Poland. I don't know. I'm get, maybe the the Canadian Classic. I don't know on which episode they go. Uh, then he'll go back to me with Pouet, Hambourg, and Utah. There we go. Perfect. And uh, the final Grand Tour of the season over on Benji's channel with the Vuelta España. Joe will have the Bing Bong Tour, just like last season, where he try and uh, once again win it with Edvard Boissenhagen. Then. Road championships, world champs, all of that. All right, where we'll bring, we'll bring, sorry, the uh, rainbow jersey to um, Tao Zhao. Okay, being up to, of uh, Tao Zhao, his national tour will be on Benji's channel for his last episode of YTC with the Guangxi tour. Uh, Joe will then have the BTEC Italian races and Lombardia, and I'll wrap up the season in Australia and uh, the down, well, with the down under and the seagull. So not many episodes left, uh, but you never know, right? We're out here, it's fun. There's still two Grand Tours this season should end mid-February. 
yeah, hopefully you'll be there to watch the upcoming episodes. As I said, next one on Benji's channel this Wednesday. It's been a pleasure talking to you guys. Have a great one and good bye. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm bleeding. What the mother man need feeding? I don't wanna go bomb Them I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bass. Stopping with the phone and dab. I'll stop a man with the duster. Put him in the drip and sip blockbuster.